What the bob? The one here. That is fun. That's that's better than arguing with your spouse. Bob. Bob out there killing the devil as he always does. But yeah, we're gonna be doing some our party uh, five CPU matches today. Um, but I also, also gotta check, make sure I've got. Make me play Mario Party on this whole time. That's great. PLA? Oh, uh, what is PLA? Oh, Legends of Arceus. I haven't seen anyone use that acronym yet. Oh yeah, I got a Twitch ad for it uh, this morning, actually. Thought that was kind of cool. Let's do like a very random assortment of characters. I'm so probably going to be on Team Waluigi for this one. Maybe uh, the Undersea Dream. Yeah. Yeah, like I said in Wolfle's stream, I'm like avoiding spoilers and stuff for me. Because I would like to catch somebody that is going to be streaming it. I don't know, Wolfle will. I follow like a lot of people though, so it's probably going to be somebody that's going to be playing it. Yeah, I do a thing with CPU matches where instead of just like arbitrarily choosing the next one, I have like a bid war. So it's like you'd literally just clear a bit and be like, hey, put it towards this Mara party. And then that's the one that we do next week. Or potentially at a future time. Sometimes I don't do CPU matches, but that's only because like I have like extra work and so I can't like fit in a stream or something like that. Alright, everyone is hard, which is good. Yes, I, I do make that joke pretty often. And they're off. Wowie. <laughs> Alright, so Team Waluigi, we're doing we're doing decently so far. I mean we've literally done nothing, so we can't screw up, right? That means we're doing good. Uh, not, not Bowser Jr. Koopa Kid. Dally, your hormones don't allow that most of the time. <laughs> well, you know, there's other uh, more appropriate words, I suppose, for that particular thing. You have like three jokes. Listen. I tell like the same joke pretty often too, and my reasoning is, if I think it's funny, then it's a good joke. Ergo, I should use it all the time. Like, what's the point of having a really good joke if you only use it once? You should be using it as often as you can so more people can hear, you can have it in different contexts and whatnot. I mean, literally, I feel like I have like at least three well, okay, it's not that one, obviously, but I have, like, at least, like, five quotes There is something about, like, hard. Is this such a low-hanging, uh, joke, you know? It's like, anytime I see the opportunity, I, I just gotta take it. I mean, look at this minigame. They're all shooting their gun at a flower and turning it from flaccid to being stiff and upright. I mean, I feel like they knew what they were doing when they made this minigame, right? <laughs> Shoutouts to Peach. Peach is obviously the uh, expert in making sunflowers stiff and erect. Won 10 coins from it, too. Yeah. 
Now, I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know why Waluigi has lost some coins. I think he went by the bank or something. Love the orbs, by the way. Always my favorite part of playing these games. I love just throwing orbs everywhere. Mario has experience there, too. That is true, that is true. He has to get a, a shine sprite just by uh, helping out some sunflowers. Waluigi got hammered? Damn, Waluigi, it's not even 10 a.m. and he's getting hammered. Unbelievable. Kind of related, I think the next time I do CPU matches next week, I might do it while drinking. Let's see, I work Tuesday evening. I can maybe do it Monday? I'll have to see when I make my schedule. Okay, I totally read that first minigame as big tit drop, not big top drop. <laughs> Alright, the thing with Waluigi is, I'm certain Waluigi has this, like, big contributed plan in order to come out at top in this one. <laughs> like, he's gonna come in with a chance time on, like, the last turn or something like that, and just swipe all the stars from someone. Big tit drop board, can't happen already. Imagine if it was, like, how Twitch has drops for games. Except it's like tits. It'll just be like watching a streamer and all of a sudden just like, bam, free tit delivery right to your house. That'd be pretty freaking cool if I say so myself. See, Waluigi is investing, buying orbs, collecting orbs, and all that stuff. Going for the more technical win here. Oh, this takes 10 coins from everyone? Ah, uh, jokes on you, Waluigi has none. If Waluigi wasn't here, I'd probably be voting for Boo. I like Boo. Boo's cute. I could probably draw a Boo. I can kind of draw Pearl, and Pearl's definitely more complex than Boo. Alright, good kid, what we got? We got a four, we got a four. We're gonna go right ahead of Waluigi. Warp Pipe Capsule, not bad. Why do we want that? Waluigi gonna drop. Mm, he is. Words difficult. Little poison mushroom right there. Oh, another item. Oh, that just gives you a mushroom. That that's a nice space. I like it. I like it. I'm definitely into that. Rumble Thumble. Star. Oh yeah, you can like, uh... I think it's like, if your controller rumbles, it means it's a shy guy. I think that's like the thing with this one. Hey, Marty. Hope you're doing well this morning. Just got started here, so there really isn't uh, too much that you've missed. Peach is just cheating, though. She has a lot of coins, and is like the furthest into the board. But you know, she's a princess, she's a monarch. And you, you know how monarchs are, right? Doing good, it's good to hear. I 
I'm honestly kind of looking forward to uh, Deltarune speedruns. That's what I'm going to be doing this uh, for the afternoon stream. Honestly, I'm kind of excited because uh, Friday I'm going to finish up Yakuza 3, which on one hand it would be nice because I'm looking forward to seeing how that all ends. But also it's going to free up uh, some of my afternoon streams, so I'll probably do at least like one extra week of there being a couple of Deltarune speedruns. You'll be doing some layered as well, awesome. Yeah, I was watching uh, Ubercat a little bit this morning. He's uh, doing some new bird percents. I can't wait for a uh, queen percent. When I get to 2,000 followers, it's like I was gonna watch a uh, rewatch season 18 of Hell's Kitchen, but with all the DMCA stuff, I'm probably not gonna do that. I don't want to risk it. So I was thinking for queen percent, it would be like you have to go to every queen cutscene. Um, during Giga Queen, you have to lose at least once because she like kind of teabags you when you lose to Giga Queen. <laughs> so I think that'd be kind of funny. And it'll end when you go back to um, uh, the castle town and go to the basement, and there's like the cutscene with Kane and Queen in it. And like once Queen leaves that cutscene, that's like the end. This like some it's basically like main route, but extra Mimi. The requirements for Nuber percent? Um I'm actually not certain, but I think you have to make it so that Newbert appears in Castletown. And I think he only does that if you, like, talk to him during Chapter 2 or something like that. I mean, it's not like an, like an actual run on the leaderboard or anything like that. It's just like a meme. I, I imagine if you ask him in his chat, you'd probably find out. I was also thinking for Queen Percent, I would have all of my splits would, like, only be related to Queen, you know? So, there would be, like, th the first split would be, like, Queen Cutscene 1, and it's, like, after the wear -wear, uh the wear wires or the ver wires whatever they're called. Then, like, again, after uh, the punch-out scene. And then, uh, like, Burly 2 would be called, like, Queen Cameo or something like that. Like, all the split names would also just be jokes as well. <laughs> Which would be funny because after that there'd be another split because there's the Queen cutscene in the uh, city. And like, nothing happens between that, just like you move through some cars, I think. Like some streets. Punch Queen, Queen Coaster, yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, there would also be, a. Uh, it's not required, but will be strongly suggested to drink something out of a large wine glass. Again, not gonna specify that it has to be, like, wine or Mountain Dew or battery acid. You can drink whatever you want. It'll just be encouraged so that you can, you can feel like Queen as you do the run. But when I do it, since it's going to be like a 2k follower thing, it's going to be like, I'm going to be drinking wine out of it. And streaming for like a couple of hours. As we bat yeah, battery acid ages 3 and up. 2 year olds are not allowed to do a queen percent, they're banned from it. Finish. She definitely seems to be pretty happy when she's drinking that battery acid too. I feel like for me, it might be a little bit uh, dry in the mouth, but uh, you know, Queen knows best. I will not question her. So we still have no stars. One who's going to buy the first one? Maybe it's going to be Boo. Well, rolling to one doesn't really help Boo get that star. No, I don't really shout out Shay much. What random clip will we get from Shay? Oh, that's a bit of an old one. That's not uh, in his current oh, setup. Twitch affiliate. Yeah, dude, they call me Kaizen. But I mean, what? <laughs> Ooh. Man, I have something in my throat today. 
change every song with Queen's laugh. <laughs> this Queen laughing the entire time. I don't know. It would be funny to change like something up though. You know, the funny thing is, with it being a meme, I would be able to actually change Cyberfield and Mansion if I wanted to. The Dacian percent. I mean, it's not like this one would do much changes anyway. Like, I'm basically saying end the run in Castletown instead of Toriel's hitbox and die to Queen once. Because otherwise, I don't think there's any Queen cutscenes that you skip doing the run. I do have to double check that though. Like, I don't know if you go over to like Stanton. Like, if you go over to like the basement, I don't know if there's Queen like screens to pop up. And I don't know if there's one on the Switch that we skip either. Maybe I should include a Queen percent. You have to uh, ask about Queen at the DJ shop, and you also have to like. I don't know if like the the uh, if the Addisons have one in their shop. I could like include that as well. I already know in Cyberfield the uh, the other things like the other little puzzles don't have anything Queen related. Every text box mentions Queen. True. That might become a little more difficult though, because I would have to I would have to like go and talk to every NPC and see which ones mention Queen. Which I mean it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's still a ways off. I mean that's still like 300 followers away. So that's something that's like probably not gonna be happening for a while. Also, DK space, let's go. Five? A five is beatable. Oh, what does matching do? Oh, that sucks. So matching doesn't actually work. Boo almost could have gotten a star there. <laughs> All right, Waluigi. I'm on Team Waluigi, by the way. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, Waluigi in first place. Big fan, very big fan of that. <laughs> Alright, what minigame do we have? Vicious Vending. I forget what this one is. Ah, this one. This, uh, this is basically just RNG. Ain't really anything to it. Ah, while we got thwomped.
I like how everyone's kind of like uh, just here at the beginning right now. Feels a little cozy. Alright, so he's gonna be swiping that capsule. You know, I was not even paying attention to where the uh, star ended up at. One. Everyone just wants to hang out at the start? Can't blame them. I mean, it wouldn't be Mario Party if we weren't all hanging out with each other, right? Quilt for speed. Oh, is this one? This one, this one. See, the funny thing with Mario Party CPU matches is so I go between six of them, right? So, I'm like not as familiar with like two, five, and six, but because we only, I only get around to doing like one of them like one a month, like each game once a month, I always like forget what the names are of them. Finish! Ooh, that one's kind of close. The first Mario Party, I, uh, I used to uh, speedrun the first Mario Party actually, so I pretty much know that by heart. So, all of those, like, if I see the name, just, like, instantly, oh yeah, that one. This one, though, is, like, trying to remember based off the name what it would be. At least the names of you here are kind of a hint towards what's going on. Also, geez, Peach with the, with the coins. Unless anything drastic changes, uh, she could potentially be getting that coin star. I just want to see if, like, a, another shade clip come up. What's the word going to be? Wait, what word? Oh, uh, 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 it's gonna be Prodigy. <laughs> I remember this. I was there for I'm this. Done. I'm done. I gotta fucking go, guys. I gotta fucking go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. I gotta I go. remember this because he uh, he guessed like a person's GPA or something in chat perfectly, and then this happened. I've seen the light. I have seen the light. No. <laughs> Fixie, what, what's Fixie doing? You know, speaking of uh, Deltarune, I was wondering the other day how, like, an entrance randomizer could potentially work for Deltarune. See, I'm just, like, not too certain how well Deltarune would work because, like, the majority of areas I feel are kind of like, well, not necessarily. It's like, uh, Steven Universe Save the Light, another game that I speedrun. I feel like that wouldn't make a good entrance randomizer because there's so many, like practically every area is just like, there's one way in, one way out. But now I'm thinking about, Deltarune does have a couple of areas where there are like more than one, or like, like three or more areas. That could actually work. Hmm. I might like toss that idea into the Discord. I don't know if there's anyone who's like capable of modding something like that and still make it like possible to beat. Well, it could be interesting. I mean, it would definitely work more than, um,. It would definitely work more than Steven Universe random like entrance randomizer would work. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, got our next mini game. What we got? Curvy curbs. Kirby curvy curbs. <laughs> Sounds cursed. It's like that image out there with like Kirby taking off his shoes, and they're like they're like highly detailed feet. It's like one of the most cursed images I've ever seen. I actually want to see like like someone do this and not hit the sides at all because I actually wonder if it's even possible. Maybe like Tass or something showcases if it's possible or not. I'm just pretty certain I've never seen a human player actually do it. All right, we got our last five turns. It means Bowser is going to be doing some shenanigans. Even if possible, if you practice it enough, it's gotta be pretty tough. I know I've never managed to do it whenever I've been playing. Oh, so all red spaces have a capsule event now. Interesting. Yeah, right, so that's the thing with this one, is that I don't think there's a chance time, but, like, all, all the capsules basically do a bunch of shenanigans. That's kind of, like, the trade-off, I guess you could call it. Just collecting all those coins. Ooh, the chain comp. Oh, a duel. A duel first. Damn, Peach is just coming for Boo's throat. 32 coins. Peace out. Why do I feel like this one is RNG? I don't, know, I don't think I remember this one. They have to con uh Oh, I think you're trying to fill it up, is what you're doing. Ah, okay, you fill it up and you get points. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure I don't remember this. I don't even know if I've ever seen this one yet. Interesting, though. Oh, this is so close. Finish! Boo! Boo wins. And Boo has 69? Boo's got 69 at the end of the score, by the way. I'll always say, one of the best things about, like, Mario Party, and also doing, uh, like, playing Pokemon as well, the amount of times that you will see 69 on screen. Alright, oh, it steals a star. Goddamn Pete. He does cheating as always. 
all she ever does. All she ever does. All peaches know how to do is eat hot chip, lie, and steal. See, uh, okay, the, the, the good news is, if you're not on Team Peach, is there is not a coin star in this one. The coin star get, gets replaced by um, number of orbs that get used. And... Uh, I, I want to say that's not Peach, but I don't know for sure. Oh wait, is this a chance time? This is something. Oh yeah, there is actually a chance time. Alright, so Peach. Peach and Boo. Alright, so um... Yeah, Wallowage is not involved. Exchanging coins... Wow, that was actually... <laughs> So they had a duel, Boo took a bunch of Peach's coins, and she basically just got them back. <laughs> Peach is so cheating right now. Alright, what's that? Oh, you just you just get you just get Vord there, Waluigi? You just get Vord for two coins, why not? I'm also kind of thinking, I don't think that Waluigi is going to get the minigame star. I like how she picks random, even though it's literally only Waluigi who has a capsule. Also, wow, you just like get jumped? That's wild. Ooh, Twister. That star just got moved somewhere. Oh, isn't that right next to Waluigi? Kind of? Ah, but his coin count is low. It might not actually be good. Oh, there goes uh, Bowser Jr. No star for you. <laughs> Alright, so... If it's like a coin mini game or something... Oh, wait, wait, this is good, this is good, right? Okay, as long as he wins this minigame, he'll be able to buy that star. Or if he rolls low enough. Okay, 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 we may be getting a star here, we may be getting a star here. Which penguins? This one's kind of a pain. I don't know how high my faith is for Waluigi.
No, Waluigi, no. Oh, oh, okay. Got scared. Waluigi, oh my god, I don't like this. <laughs> he made some scary moves there. Oh, no, oh, oh the big one. Oh, Boo won. <laughs> For a second, I thought everyone just got hit off, but Boo was still there. Hard to tell because, you know, he is, he's basically the same color as the snow. Damn, though. Oh my... Better not be Waluigi. Rigged. Okay, some, like, major luck needs to happen now for Waluigi to be able to buy the star right there. Okay, so now Waluigi would have to land on a blue space and also win the minigame. So now we just lost 10. The universe uh, really, really working against Waluigi today. Oh, is that? Oh, there we go. But that, I think that's the capsule that takes you to the star space. Okay, so if he gets 40 coins, he can use that and buy the star. Okay, it'd be really funny if he lands on Peach's space. He does one full circle. Love Mario Party. Dodge bomb. Probably something that's got bomb bombs in it, right? Yep. Oh, do you get to pick up? <laughs> okay, that's a quick mini game. Uh, I, I mean, I don't have high hopes that Waluigi is getting any bonus stars. Oh, and there's Peach, gonna buy the star. And the star is probably gonna end up like on the other side of the map, too. So I doubt Waluigi can even get to it. Yeah, Waluigi is not getting to that. I mean, on the bright side, I think Boo and Koopa Kid are away from it, too. Oh, oh, that's very bad, actually. Yep, she's gonna steal that star from Boo. Wow. Damn, Peach, Peach just swept the board this time. Yeah, so now it would be like Koopa Kid or Boo would have to win all three bonus stars. That way they can win with coins. Uh, I mean, I guess Waluigi too, if he gets some more. Oh, that's interesting. Well, now it's gonna go to Boo. Because that takes you directly to the star. Oh, and Koopa K lands on a DK space. This could change things up a bit. DK can give a star if it's uh, going to be the relay. 
Nope, uh, DK bonus. So this is like the, the mini game with the stars. Oh no, he just gets coins. 25 coins. This is just like just more insults to Waluigi. Waluigi is not having a good time. Alright, everyone versus Boo. Squared away. Probably has squares in it. Oh yeah, this one, this one, this one. Ooh, nice boxing right there. Yeah, yeah, we have seen this one so many times. Twenty coins. Okay, so that means that Boo, oh, Koopa Kid has 69, by the way. Okay, so Boo can't use the, uh, the capsule. Damn. Pete just, like, basically secured her victory right here. Like, the only thing that's gonna change this would be if someone lands on a chance time and Peach loses stars from it. Well, I guess not. Koopa Kid could still win with coins if he gets all three bonus stars. Chance time? That's chance time, isn't it? Oh no, that's, uh, that's a monkey capsule. Never mind. Chance time? Chance time? Koopa Kid gets a chance time? Is that star chance time? It is! Okay, okay. Alright, okay, something wild could happen here. Come on, involve Peach, involve Peach. Okay, Boo. Boo and Peach. Something can happen here. <laughs> see? See, this is what I was talking about. Peach just lost two stars. Chance time, chance time. It's like you you don't know until the very last turn, second to last player, just change the game up like that. And Waluigi. No 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 that just that just takes away coins, right? Doesn't stop you. I don't think they can duel. Yeah. But, okay. Like, imagine now he takes, like, two stars away from Boo or something. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be... That's gonna be amazing if that's what happens here. Okay, Waluigi is involved. Come on, Peter Boo, Peter Boo, Peter Boo. Koopa, Koopa Kid doesn't have any stars. Nah. Exchange coins, though, not bad. <laughs> Wait, does he have more than- how many does Peach have? So, like, okay, if he gets two stars, bonus stars, then Peach and Boo don't get any, Waluigi is gonna win by having more coins. Suddenly, it just got more possible for Waluigi to win. That's why I love chance time. Finish! And Waluigi wins the last minigame, that's good, that's good.
Alright, let's see. Peach. Nope. Damn. I could have been so sick, too. Yeah, I know. Peach still wins. Getting all the bonus stars. Oh, happening! It's not orb. Uh, maybe the orb is Mario Party Four, or it's six. Didn't get the happening though. So he's at least not in last place. He's in third place, I think. Yeah. All right, beat wins. Beat wins by cheating. Classic Peach, Classic Peach. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm gonna run and uh, take a quick little break. I'll be back in a couple minutes, and we'll do another board. So I'll be back in a few. All right, gamers, I'm back. Check this out. This is going to look very strange. Regal is going to try to parry DDQ, this hollow on a DDQ. very particular spot on the bridge. And if done correctly, we clip the character out of bounds just enough to activate the death camera, which is this overhead top-down view, but not far enough to actually touch the kill plane. Believe it or not, those are two different triggers. 
Now, the reason we did this is that while the camera is in this glitched state, the gate to Sen's Fortress just isn't even going to load, so we can just walk right through. Hopefully, this hollow doesn't catch up so we can sit. All right, nice. Good. Yep. We're going to level up to 11 strength in nice. order to properly wield that Drake sword we got. Uh, and I know it's hard to see with the camera, but we're now running along the bridge to Sen's uh, Fortress. I didn't even know like that was I said, thing. with the camera in this state, the gate just doesn't load. You won't have to deal with this for much longer, don't worry. Yeah. We're going to quit out to reset the camera just as we pass into Sin. There's the gate. We're going to do a jump quit out so we can quit out. Yeah. So, uh, P21 last did. time. So, we're going to we make sure in, she's uh, in. Regal's going to spin the camera quickly. There's the gate still closed. Uh, how about we do Mario, Luigi, and. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling Wario. I'm probably gonna root for Luigi though. And we do Pirate to Dream. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Being a pirate is alright with me. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. So yeah, I will be on Team Luigi for this one. <laughs> oh, the star's right. That's like the opposite side of the... You get to go through like the board, basically. All right, and they're all. Looks like pretty typical start. Ooh, a golden mushroom. Well, that's gonna be good for Wario. Seeing as how this first star, they basically have to go through a big portion of the board. Definitely a good item to get. Later, skater. Love to see it. Luigi starting off with the win. I am on Team Luigi again. Just saying. May or may not be a little bit biased. A little bit biased. Oh, that is good for Luigi. I didn't even know Zay that's what his capsule was. An 8. A 3. Mid high number. Another 8. Very nice, a nice 19. That is going to help Waluigi kind of zip on through this board. Imagine if we got another mushroom through the bank, though. RNG is just like, hey, guess what, Luigi? Bam. Gonna grab yourself a uh, nice kind of coins for that. Is that worth it or not? That. It definitely wasn't worth it. 
Because now he either has to low, he either has to roll low. He's either got to roll low, or the minigame has to be one where you just win coins, not like win or lose. So that actually could be kind of bad. I wonder if there's anyone in this stream's name just Mario. Shout out Mario, do we get anything? Phew. Mrs. Briz, Briz, Holly. There is a there is a Mario. Hey mate, the charity event was a class act lead by example, my friend. Much He's Australian too? Much love. For those that don't know, we raised I think it was Alright. Apparently there's a Twitch streamer named Mario who's Australian. The more you know, huh? This is gonna be interesting. Is everyone just gonna pay the 10 coins to hop up here and then not have enough to actually buy the star? Well, not Wario. <laughs> Bye, Wario. Though that is a happening space. So, Wario currently has uh, the one happening space. Diffuser lose. This one, which uh, the CPUs are like really bad at coordinating this one, I've learned. Like the idea would be to just like wait till it get like wait till it gets like to the crossroads. And then just like keep like getting it out. Like right here, like if I were Wario, I'd just be like ground pounding the hell out of that spot. It's like Peach comes over there, like, why is Peach doing that? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like Mario and Luigi are probably gonna lose this one, I feel. They're, uh, they're not being too out. Yeah, 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 they're... How did Luigi miss... Luigi. Luigi, come on. Luigi, you're bringing the team behind. God, he missed it twice in a row. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Luigi. Yeah. Though now that makes me wonder, is there a streamer named Luigi? There may or may not be, they don't have any clips. Yep, so there we go, Luigi. Yeah. Wasn't worth it. Wario opting to uh, drop the capsule onto a space. So, like, even though going that way would have been the longer path, I feel like that was the smarter one to do to get to that star. Because you end up in a situation like Luigi just had, where if he got to the star, he didn't have the coins for it. And Wario just might end up there again. So, it's actually kind of funny, based on how the CPUs kind of do their thing. It was actually bad for them to have the mushrooms at the start. Ooh, a battle mini game. I don't even think we had a battle mini game in the last board. Ten, so that's gonna be like what, 30, 35? Yeah, now everyone had enough. So they're picking the left one, the Dory one.
Well, now Luigi winning that. You know, I kind of feel like since I was the one that was like, oh yeah, let's get Wario in here. It's gonna be like my fault if Wario ends up winning. I could have like thrown in Yoshi, I could have thrown in Daisy or a different character, but nope. I wanted Elon Musk. Which, by the way, Elon's impersonation of Wario... One of the worst impersonations. Like, even disregarding the fact that I hate Elon Musk as a person, you can't even do a proper Wario. You'd think he'd be able to, like... I don't know, manifest his inner greedy... bastard gremlin personality and do a good Wario, but he can't. Doesn't even do the laugh. Doesn't even do the laugh. I literally have like three... Probably won't even play, but I have like three clips of me complaining about Elon Musk as Wario. This was how bad he was. Competitor. No, funny clip though. Don't they make it doesn't involve Wario though. Lenovo? It sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, this one. Oh, for something that cools. Oh, computer. And then uh, that's when I realized that one of my monitors is literally Lenovo. You uh, you want to know why it sounds familiar? I knew it sounded familiar. Love one crosswords. Of my monitors is Lenovo. You're sad, Ash. Why are you sad? Do I have to uh? Do I have to go fight Fixie? I'm like I, I can do it anyway, but like specifically, do I have to go fight Fixie? Delta Rune. Oh no, were you doing runs and something shitty happened? Do we have to go fight the DJs again? Where was it? The DJs? Fucking DJs. We should like replace the DJ fight with like listening to a Beastie Boys song, in my opinion. DC boys are like way cooler than the DJs. Two runs to cheese and one really good run to smorgasbord. Does cheese refer to the cheese maze? And like you hit the cheese? I'm not sure what smorgasbord before us too. Is that, that's not a mouse wheel, is it? No? Or is that the cheese? Oh, is Smogus board the, the puzzle? The wear while after the shop. Ah, oh, that one, that one. Oh, damn, you got into that fight? That sucks. I know, because you're usually, like, very, very consistent with getting that skip. Goddamn Cyberfield. You know, another thing that's nice about being able to do uh, the Mansion Warp is having to skip that, too. Ah, uh, you went up early. Sucks. I'm just kind of uh, distracted. I'm like paying attention to like the, the all bosses thing right now. People are talking about it. I 
kind of feel like... I feel like all bosses should just be like... You know, the secret bosses, the chapter bosses, any glitches go. And like, if you don't like that, then just run, like, main route glitchless. Cause like a mini boss category is basically just gonna be chapter two, like like the old glitch route. Reject all bosses except Spantum Neo percent. Yeah, we don't need we don't need all bosses. We just need Spantum Neo percent. You know what? You don't even have to fight Spantum Neo. The timing ends as soon as like. Like, during the cutscene, when it goes dark and you see his eyes, and then, like, the light's flashing on and you see his body, that's when the timing ends. Just, like, the very, the very existence of Spantum Neo being present in Chris's eyes, that's, that's where the category ends. Don't even have to fight Spantum Neo. Look, I just made that category so fucking good, everyone's gonna run it. It's gonna get into the next GDQ. Just, just you wait, just you wait. It is kind of interesting because, like, the other speed game that I'm, like, I ran, Steam Universe Save the Light, for the most part, it's basically just me and another person that runs, and they always agree with me. So, whenever it came to the leaderboard, for any reason, I'd be like, hey, maybe we should, like, ban this from, like, this category. And he was like, yeah, sure. That was basically the discussion for that game. Now, Delta Rune is, like, you know, this. Dozens of people that have stuff to say. Which, like, isn't bad. It's kind of nice that there are people that have, like, good opinions and, like, points to bring up. Honestly, though, my favorite thing about, like, being in a community where there's a lot of people that run stuff is... Like, if I ever think that something might be faster, I can just post battle in a Discord, and either, one, someone's gonna tell me, no, it's slower, and this is about how much slower it is, or two, somehow no one else has thought of it, and someone's just gonna, like, go and time it immediately to see if it is faster. But when you're the only person running the game, like, you just have to, like, do all that stuff yourself. Like, throwback to me spending like 20 minutes timing the movement of all of the characters in the overworld for Steven Universe Save the Light. To like, figure out that Greg is like, a millisecond faster than Steven, instead of actually being the same speed as we used to think. Like, wow, I got to discover the day that Greg is actually a little bit faster. Which is also completely irrelevant, too, because you would never have either of them in front of the party when you're moving. But yeah, Spantum Neo percent, where you don't even fight Spantum Neo, as category. What like, silly meme categories could there be? Like, buffet percent? Chris has to consume one of every edible item that exists in the game. So you have to, like, go and visit the shops and buy, like, the bagel, the dark candy, all that stuff. Ask for a piss percent in a different game. <laughs> what? Like, like the runner themselves has to like go take a piss at some point. <laughs> That's actually so stupid. I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> like that it just makes you think about like you know like comedians or whatever when they have like a microphone on them and they go to the bathroom but they forget to turn it off when they go to the bathroom it's so, like everyone just like hears it over the speakers that's what that makes me think of this percent Yeah, 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 it's still recorded, though. <laughs> I mean, that's actually, like, kind of funny, though. It's like other stuff, like, oh yeah, what if we had, like, uh... Talk to Mad Dummy percent? This is like, okay, you're just thinking of stupid, arbitrary things. But someone just, like, seriously being like, Listen, we need, we need piss percent. You do an 90% run. You gotta go to the bathroom, you gotta piss, and I gotta be able to hear it. I want your pee to be audible. It's like someone seriously suggesting that. Like, just the suggestion itself is... Fucking... Then, like, what do you do if your, like, streaming area is not close enough to the bathroom? Like, do you just, like, go off camera and, like, piss into a bowl or something like that? A kid or someone with a piss kink, yeah. You have to, like, audibly slurp your drink every five minutes during the run. Like, okay. You're either being weird or that's, like, a kink thing. I just don't know these days. How did Wario get two stars? Been too busy talking about pissing in Delta Rune and knows that Wario's got two stars. Try to piss before the run so you don't get an advantage. Yeah, like, I guess the, there, there would have to be, like, a rule on how long you had to piss or something. Like, does that have to be audible for at least, like, three seconds or something? Yeah, that's true. Like, I guess strictly speaking, if there weren't some sort of video... <laughs> Nightbot was just like, oh, you said video, let me plug in YouTube. Well, I got 64 subscribers on YouTube. Just like, uh, the very famous, uh... Sony system, the PlayStation 64. Finish. Dude, Wario keeps on cheating. He's got two stars, he won a minigame. I didn't even want Wario, I was thinking about putting Yoshi in. Yeah. Oh, you're telling me you never played the PlayStation 64? It was a great system. You could, uh, you could, uh, skip Spamtum Neo on the PlayStation 64 back in the early 2000s. <laughs> Listen, we're talking about a, uh, a, a very, very valid and exciting category called Piss Percent. Where you do a speedrun, but you're required to piss during the run.
You know, I just realized something though. The problem with a piss percent speedrun is that Australians wouldn't be able to partake in it because uh, piss is censored down there. So we'd have to come up with a different name though. I suppose we maybe have to call it like uh, P percent. Okay, and true, true, true. Fuck Australians. <laughs> Damn, we're just like making, we're just making a category to exclude Taddy Man. I don't know. That's, I mean, that's politics, right? That's politics. No bopping allowed. I know uh, Uber was uh, doing some new bird percents. Uber is going to get world record in that. Pop everyone else. Having to run it? I mean, so like, in a way, it kind of is a bop then, right? <laughs> Confused and maybe wondering like, wait, shit, has Ash actually done this before? Did I miss it? Can't wait for Queen Percent though. I want to get like the majority of Delta Rune runners to like actually want to do Queen Percent so it gets added to the leaderboards. Make a poll and everything. It's what Queen would want. Queen would be like, LMAO, you actually made me a category with a bunch of jabronis. Track a Bard Peg. True, true. I can't wait for Chapter 3, 4, and 5 to get released, and the leaderboard forums just become full of people suggesting the most random shit ever. I actually had kind of an interesting idea. I don't know if there's like people that would be able to mod it in uh the like in the Discord, but you know how some games have entrance randomizers? I was wondering how Deltarune would look if we had like an entrance randomizer people could do. Like if you figure if it would include Castle, like if Castle Town like post Castle Town was included with like uh, the, you know, the light world. I feel like it could actually be, like, kind of interesting. So I feel like there are enough areas where there's, like, three different areas to go in. So it wouldn't just be, like... Because, like, Steve Universe Saved a Life, for example, I thought about it. And pretty much every area is just, like, there's one entrance and one exit. Or, like, two doors, basically. But I feel like Deltarune has like two hub areas, like a couple of hub areas, so it could actually be interesting if someone were to do it. Yeah, that too. I mean, like, you could also include like an enemy randomizer, so you don't know what the enemies are going to be. Items could be randomized too, shops could be randomized. Like you just go into Shams shop and he's sell uh, they're selling the thorn ring. Like, oh okay, cool. Sham happens to have this. The DJs sell you uh Devil's Tail. Yeah, like I don't know jack shit about coding. So it's just like theoretical. I don't know how the coding itself would actually be done.
Oh, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna search... Randomizer? Has anyone ever said randomizer before? Oh, randomizer brings up the word random. I have to like actually like go through stuff. A number of them are uh, just me posting my stream because like I used to have like randomizer in my like little title thing. Looks like no one's really talked about ran I'm just seeing like everyone just saying the word random, I'm not seeing randomizer. Flash machine being randomized. Random. People talking about the randomized head, head minute. Yeah, it looks like at least since Chapter 2, I don't see the word randomizer being said. Huh. Undertale and Counter Rando, though. Oh yeah, Wario, Wario's been straight up cheating. He has been uh, utilizing the, uh, the inner Elon Musk beard within him. Okay, I see someone at the end of September had, like, a music randomizer they posted. Looks like no one really brought up uh, the idea of a randomizer. Start! Oh yeah, basically the meaning with that too would be if someone's actually capable of like programming an entrance randomizer that can also be like finished, like with the logic and everything. Yeah, I basically just like thought about that when I realized that we have Castle Town and also um like the Light World that would have like multiple entrances. This could be kind of interesting. I've been watching people do a Pokemon Emerald entrance randomizer, which has been interesting. But like obviously Pokemon games are good with that because you have so many houses and like tunnels and routes and all of that. Right, like... You like, go to enter Spantum's shop, and it's just like, Sans' grocery store. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, maybe the randomizer would have to like... Force a static party or something like that, if that were possible. Which could be kind of funny if it means it would like... If you could have Rousey in the light world. Just like... Casually walk into Toriel's house with Rousey. Yeah, I have no clue like how all the like coding works, so it just all be hypotheticals. 
But I feel like if it were possible to actually do it, I feel like it would be interesting. God damn, this Nightbot person just keeps coming to chat and posting random shit. Also, speaking of random shit... Shake clip? Alright, let's see this chat. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> does it quite kill him in one hit? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it does! <laughs> Fucking rip Birdly. Wuffle? Wuffle clip? Ash anyway, clip. the only way uh, Susie can die here is if Susie gets targeted two turns in a row. That would be pretty funny if it happened, but... So it's either gonna happen, or yeah, it's I not gonna it. happen. Susie? Oh, never punished! I'm never fucking punished. Wuffle never gets punished. Oh, I bet I missed another time to pay for this. Watch this. It's fine, we're using photosynthesis. Oh no, synthesis. Okay, uh, okay, hold on. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> I will be able to see you get- I, 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 I literally meant echo location. I know they are super far apart, but holy fuck. Actually getting it's a okay. Delta room clip okay. though? You won't miss- Oh, did I misspell Taddy Man? Was it two, en two ends? Finish! Big Watcher. Ah, I got an underscore. Underscore. Nice! Lost one didn't appear, what the fuck? Ah. Another one? This is probably just a missed clip. <laughs> Barlden clip? Maybe a fixy one too? Yeah, I mean, we know what's going on in Mario Party. Wario's is a big old fat cheater. Yeah, this one's probably definitely. 37. Let's, that's actually, like, that was such a good 37 too, like 37.7, I think. Oh yeah, it's cool say, story, Hypothetically, okay. I worked at Bofa. Was Bofa, you ask? Bofa D's nuts. What, oh, dude? Yo, does the Spinel background is split, though? Fixie, do a funny. Damn it, Fixie. <laughs> that, that was Fixie, not Fixie LOL. Uh, Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Minecraft? Just get this, murdered this by a creeper. Really I'm not usually a fan of copyright free music, but like... Sometimes I find myself listening to this off stream too. Oh, is he gonna fall? He's gonna, he's gonna fall, he's gonna fall. God damn it, Fixie. Fixie, die for content. Going to go into Mario Cam some more, Daddy. Go into first person cam some more when I accidentally breathe on the camera stick. 
Also, I had no clue that he, like, was learning SM64 or something. That's a new thing. Oh. Gaster! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, I'm satisfied now. Gaster door. That's, that's cool, that's cool, that's all. <laughs> Start! What about Uber? Finish. Uber Caddy. Uber Katai. Oh. Is he gonna hit the pop up? Oh no. Snowgrave? Nice, sick clip. <laughs> it's kind of the funny thing with like the clip player is you never know if it's going to be like an accidental one or if it's going to be like, oh, something's about to happen. So you're just like anticipating something that nothing happens. Another tat true. Didn't really get a good tatty man one. A Noel clip? There was like seven chances and Chris didn't die. Yeah. It, isn't it oh, like the yeah, game is like less likely to target less... Chris? Nar and NR? Yeah, we do it NR. Yeah, I can hear someone oh, stream. I can hear someone yeah, stream. Someone is, I yeah, know. someone is echoing a bit. This echoing clip. Oh. I am streaming. Someone's in teacups, whoever that is. It's them. Whoever is that? Yeah. Ever yeah. Okay, but seriously. I can't enter the wrong safe Oh my god, please. No, Club Pe This isn't Club Penguin, is it? It's this Club is Penguin. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, Alright. That's. Interesting. More Enhar. What well, Enhar says Yo guess the heck is this? <laughs> Wait, there's a city in Pernambuco named Buenos Aires? That's funny. I can't Where believe Argentina copied Pernambuco. Ah, couldn't move it in time. Wario's got another dude. Wario's is so straight up cheating over here. Now Yoshi's right close to victory. Any card More club penguin. But will he? It's a double and hard card that never ever seen before. Incredible! Incredible! I have never seen such formation before in an ultimate card in tournament before. It is insane. These ninjas are so skillful. <laughs> dude, co player is like so underrated. I mean, obviously, if I was like speedrunner or something, anyone here be got this. agenda? Or are y'all non binies <laughs> Oh, Oops. classic Varlden. Oh, this clip. Thirty aces? Heck yeah. Sad time. Rip that run. 
No. Use the distraction so I can. I know yeah. that. My... But right now. I'm... Rip WR by the way on that one. What is that? Found him. Wait, 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 grab. Hi, My friend. Grab oh, that's a scary. Can I call? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. I think this might be my fate. <laughs> I think this is my fate. Uh. Aces, shut the fuck up. Okay. Apparently there's a streamer named Mario, I learned that. There's like an Australian guy named Mario. Fuck off, Uncle. I am not jumping anywhere close to there, bro. <laughs> Damn, you think his character died? Uh, thank the Lord for Australians. <laughs> Ninja? <laughs> what, nin what random clip from Ninja can we get? The hunt begins! I don't even know the game, so I have like no context for what just happened. One enemy remaining. <laughs> nice clip, Ninja. So funny. Ash clip? Definitely. <laughs> Just smiling. Um, this is going to be the uh, two main root Yo, Clip Septon. <laughs> <laughs> Marlden reacts to Ash reacting to the, the GDQ interview. Shay? Shay clip? Nice. I'm absolutely going for broke. <laughs> Never mind. Or not. <laughs> All right, well, we can die again. It's no problem. GDQ, GDQ, where you go? Me, Mr. Magnificent, and Ellipsis. Bye. Interview, let's go. Oh my god, that's Mighty! Mighty's my friend. <laughs> yeah. Shoutouts to Oracle of Seasons, he runs that. Thanks GDQ for this great event. Diablo 2 is a true classic. I certainly agree. Yeah. It's only 17 years old. Yeah, this is like an see. old one. It's gotta be like Maybe. 2014, right? W would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. The way the Mighty was just like sitting there awkwardly. Oh, come on. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't wanna get hit, man! <laughs> The sounds of GDQ. What else? ESA Marathon's name of ESA's channel, I think? Good or not, but we'll, we'll give it a try and I can always do like a, a backup strat. We'll have like three attempts. Um, so what you have to do for this skip, if you know, there's... Oh! oh, there's... <laughs> oh. No way! Oh, shit. I've done it. 
Uh, Whoa. That's normally pretty hype in like any percent, but uh, you gotta climb up on this crane to get the bag wow. in 100%. So <laughs> I can't it believe it. It saves like less time, but impressive nonetheless. Just got them goosebumps. We don't have time to talk about it now. I guess we will. Just. European people. You know, a lot of stars have been gotten in this one. Wario's still with four? He's like almost certainly gonna win this one. Oh, DK? Sloth? Uh, what's Sloth's uh, username? Just Sloth or something else? Soaring Sloth? You know, fuck it, let's let the cousin lovers finish this shit. <laughs> let the fucking cousin lovers finish it. Cousin lovers? Let's go! <laughs> I'm going to assume this is Fire Emblem. Fucking country roads, bro. Damn, we got unlucky. No way, we need we need uh we need Delta Rune. Delta Rune? Ah! God damn it! Sonic right two. Now? What do you mean? Is that like an alert? I'm so confused. I kind of, I kind of do like the clip though. Paper, I'm just going to keep on getting random games, I guess. Okay, bye, Flavio. Wait, what? <laughs> he's just, he's just levitating with us. Yo, Flavio's still there. Let's go. The same ah, clip. I right, know we're we're gonna, we're gonna stop that. Delta Rune. Not Delta Rune. Soldiers. 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 Alright, we, we may, may just not be getting any that Delta scream. Rune. That fucking scream. Soldiers. What the fuck was that scream? A TF2 though? Quite literally. Soldiers. Still not Delta Rune. I like how we basically just keep on getting different games, though. Oh shit! The fucking madman! Somebody fucking clip that! Somebody fucking clip that right the fuck now! And then someone actually did clip it. Splatoon. Ah, uh, end of the board, end of the board. Yeah, it's like Wario Death. Like, you gotta be shitting me. I'm so. Unless, unless the bonus stars get distributed weirdly. Minute game goes to. War yeah, Wario won. Maybe we can get Delta Run from Aces. Yeah, um. Nope. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave Purgatory real quick. What Galaxy is this? though? What? Huh? Huh? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, two happening sauce. Wario again. I freaking kill myself and then I just walked to the freaking sky station. <laughs> oh my god, Cynthia. <laughs> what? Is so what? what? <laughs> yeah, so Wario won this board with like about like three stars. <laughs> Oh, what happens if I wait, wait, wait? What happens if I press back? What happens if I press back? What happens if I press back? Nothing. Dang it. Classic Wario. Tooks, can you clip that? 
But yeah, I think that's going to be all for uh, the CPU matches today.